So I was about to make myself some lunch and I thought a good opportunity to show you the fry pan that I have been using of late. This is the Fire Maple Feast non-stick fry pan. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on it, keep watching. So the reason I reached out to Fire Maple and asked if they would be interested in sending me their Feast non-stick fry pan uh, is one, I thought you might be interested in having a look at it, but two, I, in a previous video, I reviewed the Fire Maple Feast 4 cook set. So it's a four piece cook set, including pots and a kettle and a pan. And lovely kit, you know, nicely compacts everything together, high quality construction, way too much for one person to carry in the woods at a time. But Gina and I have been using it for the last two years as uh, our cook set when we go out car camping for two weeks. And the only downside that that pan offered as far as cooking in, the fry pan is that came with the set, is that it was ridged. It was uh, like a griddle kind of a, a interior to it. And you know, that's fine if you're looking for grill marks on your steaks or other pieces of meat, but it's a little harder to cook eggs and things like that in. So uh, we decided to put that pan aside and we tried a few other pans. And when I finally realized that Fire Maple had something very nearly the same size with a non-stick coating, otherwise, you know, identical to the other components of the Feast 4 set. But, okay, let's give that a try and see how well that works. So we did take this oak car camping, we used it, and found it to be just excellent. Really, it almost shows no wear. A few things to be aware of, of course. So what I thought I would do is just give you a few of the specifications for it, talk about it just for a minute or so, but of course, then I'm going to cook some eggs up in it. Like all of the uh, pans and pots and everything in Fire Maple's Feast series, this is made of a hard anodized aluminum, which is high quality all by itself. It uh, lends a lot of strength to the aluminum. And of course, that means you're, you're away from the aluminum itself. You don't have to worry about aluminum coming off in your food. And, but they've added something on the inside. Now, I originally thought this was a non-stick ceramic coating because I can see sparkles all through it and that's usually a characteristic of ceramic. But I reached out to Fire Maple to confirm and in fact, it's not ceramic. This is a Teflon coating, PFOA free. So it's the safe version of a Teflon coating. But uh, it's a higher quality than just about anything I've seen, even commercially for home use. It has a, well, besides a very smooth surface, it, ha it has a nice bronze color. I'm hoping, wondering if that's showing up on the camera. And it works extremely well as a non-stick surface. But, uh, you know, there's a few other features to be aware of, like all the other Feast 4. This has Fire Maple's excellent locking folding handle, folds around underneath, locks into position, and it has the release right in the center of it like that you know i i really like that about the feast for it very comfortable in the hand as well i'll just give you a few of the specifications for it because of course this will all be in the video description so it is 7.6 inches in diameter which is 194 millimeters the height top to bottom is 1.8 inches or 45 millimeters uh, the weight of this is 9.2 ounces which is a little heavy and but that's because of the heavy gauge aluminum that's used in the pan itself and which is 262 grams I don't know why you would want to measure the volume of a pan, maybe if you're doing sauces and the like, but Fire Maple provided the volumes, which is 30.4 fluid ounces, which is 0.9 of a liter or 900 milliliters. So I guess that's good to know, but it's not like I'm boiling water or anything in this. So just a nice overall pan. And uh, the only caution I would say about using it for you is I have not used this over fire. It's only been over gas stoves. We use a Coleman stove when we go camping and today I'll be using in a butane stove actually to cook on. And the only thing I would say is um, use something like a plastic flipper and fork and spoon and tongs or whatever else because I haven't had any experience scratching this but then again I've been very conscious about not using anything with a sharp edge or metal edge on it to uh, work with in the pan. And the other thing is I have been using a little oil or butter in when I'm cooking with it even with the non-stick surface it doesn't hurt to add a little bit of oil to whatever it is you're cooking. Uh, the other thing as you'll see when I put it over the stove is butane stoves they are known for causing hot spots on the bottom of pans and making food stick so it's just one of those things there's a bit of a skill level that associated with this pan or any pan for that matter titanium for sure uh, non-stick or and not 
just non-stick, but regular anodized aluminum, you have to be conscious, even stainless steel and carbon steel, you still have to be conscious about using it over a small gas stove. So the trick is move it around a lot, and if necessary, you know, you keep the gas flow as low as possible, and if necessary, lift it off a little bit. All right, that's everything I wanted to say before we get started. Let's cook some eggs. If you're interested in knowing, I'm using another thing from Fire Maple that I've been testing out and just recently reviewed. This is the Fire Maple Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, W-I-F-I. It's an adapter that allows you to use pretty much any gas canister stove with it and butane. And that's a great saving. So if you're look, interested in that review, you'll find it in my Fire Maple lineup. I had another stove that I was using it with, but I brought this one out today to cook with. And for the life of me, T16, I'm not sure. I'll put it on the screen which one of the Fire Maple stoves this is. So let's get that lit. It's a nice little stove. I think I could have used a windscreen, but that I did not bring. I've got that turned down pretty low. Put the pan on top. And I am going to put a little ghee in to cook my eggs in. Boy, it must be warm out. It's, uh, the ghee is soft. And I can see that there is a slope to the pan, so I'll have to keep that in mind as I start to use it. Yeah, might be better with a wider stove with a wider uh, base on, or wider pot stand than this one is, but this will work. Make sure that I guess that should be. Don't want a hot fry pan when you're cooking eggs at home or in the field for that matter. I'm going to get shell in here if I'm not careful. Oh, there we go. That one's in. Yeah, that's okay. I am going to have to move the pan around a little bit. This is a bit of a juggling act. Get this one in. All right, that's all right. That's working out okay. And before I have to do any flipping or anything, I can get a little bit of my spices on, which, keep it simple, a little bit of garlic, and a little bit of Cajun spice to go in, like that. Maybe a little salt in a few minutes' time, we'll see. Now, I am cooking up eggs, but uh, where do they lay it? I've got something else to go with, so don't worry. I do have Spam as well, <laughs> just to give a classic woodsman's meal. Right, this is working well. Nothing sticking. But the trick is to make sure that things don't get too hot. Let me separate the two eggs so I can flip them separately. Now it's starting to okay, turn that down a little bit. Noisy. Sputtering. All right, that's working out good. Not going to take long. It's sputtering, but it's still running. I wonder why it's sputtering. All right, it's just the same. Eggs are cooking well. See if I can't get my spam in there to go with it. I think it's going to be a little crowded to get both pieces of spam in. But by the time I get the spam in, it'll be time to take the eggs out, I think. All right, there it stopped sputtering. I wonder what that sputtering was all about. Bit of a rush. I have my plate handy. I can get my eggs into the plate and it won't take long for the spam, spam to be browned up. There's one. Oh yeah. There's two. Get the two pieces of spam in. I'll flip them over once or twice to brown them up. I'll cook my lunch up, finish my lunch up, and then uh, we'll wrap this video up. 
All right, quick rinse out, little soap and water, dried her off with my bandana. All good to put away, fold the handle out of the way. I don't think I showed you this, the stuff sack that it came with. Enough to put a couple of the things inside if you wanted to make use of the space. Okay, by the way, I did figure out what was causing the sputtering on that little fire maple stove. And it was just that I had it turned down so low that it was starting to sputter as it heated up and the metal swelled a little bit or I don't got a little larger. So one little tiny turn of the adjustment and the sputtering went away. But as you turn the heat up, you do have to be a little bit more cautious, making sure that it doesn't get so hot to burn your eggs or spam. Well, it's a great meal, simple meal, right? But uh, eggs are a great demonstration of uh, cooking, especially in a non-stick pan or any other pan because it involves not only the quality of the pan, but a little bit of technique. So it's nothing to shy away from. It's just a matter of don't put it over a whole lot of heat. Keep the heat very reasonable. Add a little bit of oil or butter or something just to further enhance the non-stick surface. Yeah, uh, now I did mention also that I have not used this over a wood stove and I don't plan to. This is, you probably could if you kept the down to coals or very, very low flame if you wanted to, but it's really not designed for that. I mean, it has a plastic handle. This is to be designed to be used over a, either a gas canister stove or over an alcohol stove. Those are the two primary heat sources. And, uh, you know, this by itself, I'd take this out. I have a lot of other pans, of course, but I would take this out if I knew I was going to be used gas canister. But this is going to be a part of my Feast 4 set so that uh, Gina and I can take a car camping when we go away because it's, it's a big set, like I mentioned, for one person. All right, that's everything I have to say about the Feast nonstick fry pan from Fire Maple. I'll put the specs and the link where you can search it up on Fire Maple's site if if you're interested in taking another look at it, I like it. It's a little heavier than a lot of aluminum pans, meaning that it's got a little bit more stability, a little bit more strength than a lot of them. Yeah, I really do like this. It's Teflon though. You still got to be a little careful. Make sure you don't scratch it because once it starts to scratch, well, you know what Teflon is like. That's be my only cautious. Make sure you use non-metal implements, plastic wood or whatever to go with it when you're actually moving things around in the pan. <clears throat> Until next time, Get out and explore, take that path less traveled, because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.